Hi, welcome to Data Engineering and today we are going to discuss about Hive Acid tables. So Hive Acid is a concept which uh, entered into picture in the version of Hive 0.14 and Hive was predominantly used for OLAP and that means online analytical process. So that means we will have only inserts we, but we won't have any updates. Okay, so we use only for analytical purpose. But later Hive also supported Acid. Acid means in RDBMS we have this concept called Acid Atomicity Consistency isolation and durability and that means in simple I can say a table which allows you to do insert update and delete so in hive insert update delete was launched into picture only after this hive 0.14 version and previously hive was predominantly used only for OLAP that means only inserts and now people started using hive insert update deletes uh, functionalities because it supports it and also now hive is also used for OLTP that means online transaction process so the table which has inserts and updates both right we call it as OLTP table okay so now uh, in in real time people are using acid tables or not if you ask this question i will say yes most of the people started using the acid functionality in hive a lot so if you are entering into the interviews right if some in the interviews people are asking this question whether you worked in hive acid table or not and most of the time i have seen in my experience when i when i am an interviewer when i ask this question people will say no we haven't used but that's completely fine for me but when I ask them, can you tell me how to create an acid table? So that is what required. So even though you haven't used in the real time, but at least you might have studied this for your own personal interest, right? So that is what people are expecting. So you need to watch this video completely. It's not a big deal. So at least you are not going to practice. This is fine, but just have a knowledge of this video so that at least in the interview, you can explain and make sure, as I told you, people started using acid tables in the real time. Okay, before getting into this video, I have given this uh, playlist link called Big Data Course in the description box where you can find the complete Big Data videos start from lesson one and I will be keep on adding new videos to the playlist. So you can have a look on that playlist. So you don't want to go for any special course to learn Big Data. This playlist is completely enough for you. Okay, now before you start doing this acid stuff, you need to set all these properties in your hive shell just directly you can run this so i have shared a link where you can find this code okay it's there in the description box where you can find the ddls okay so now when you run this what happens so uh, i will enable you to do all acid related stuff okay so now uh, we are entering into the create table syntax and okay uh, when, when when it comes to the set property once again i want to tell you something so this for, if you want to set this permanently then you have to set these properties in hive hyphen site dot xml but in real time most of the time they will not set this in hive hyphen site dot xml for sure so you have to uh, attach these set properties along with your hql that means you create the list of uh, ddls in a file and you will run that file in the real time so in the real time you will not go and type each and every query in hive shell you will not do you will create as a file and that file will be get executed so in that file in the beginning you have to add this okay now create table so when you try to create an acid table there is four rules that you have to follow and this is what an interview they are expecting from you how to create an acid table the very first thing your table should be an internal table so in hive we have a concept called external and internal table if you are not aware of this concept in the same playlist what i said before in the description box you can find that video in the playlist internal and external table in hive please refer that video for more information so internal table is default so this is internal table when there is a keyword called the external in front of the table name then that table name then that table is external table so this is an internal table so now i have the columns and the data types and then second rule your acid table must be an bucketed table it has to be bucketed second rule third so you have to use storage format ORC file format. So we do have parquet file format, ORC file for, format, text file format, sequence file format. So we do have various storage format in Hive, but for ACID tables, you have to use only ORC. This is rule number three. Rule number four, you have to enable transaction equal to true in the table property. So there is four rules that you have to use to create an ACID table. The table must be an internal table. It should be unbucketed and it should be used ORC file format and finally, the table has to be transaction equal to true that's it now you can do all inserts updates and delete okay so let me show you the table i have created the table i will just show you the table there is a command called show create table table name so this will uh, show you the ddl of the table 
the complete create syntax you can able to see so this is an internal table and it is bucketed and it uses ORC file format and finally transaction equal to true now select star from the table name so I have one record here let me show you so there is one record one Saravana Chennai okay now I want to do an inserts insert so I'm gonna do an insert here so let's do an insert so I'm going to insert a value one Gautam Chennai so let me make it as two here because I do have one already I don't have a primary key but I'm just saying so to have it clear so let me clear the screen and then paste this insert command so this will trigger the map reduce job so once this map reduce job is completed you can able to see the data let's wait for the job get completes okay so now the, now the insert is completed let's do a select so now we'll have two records so one saravana chennai and then two gautam chennai so now we're gonna do an update so update acid example set name equal to okay it's saravana is already there let me change it to rom where serial number equal to one okay so go back clear the screen paste enter so now let's wait for the update get complete okay so the update is completed let's do one select so now uh, yeah so the name has been updated from Saravana to Ram so the final step is let's delete the record so I'm gonna delete serial number one so delete from table where serial number equal to one so so we're gonna do a delete here so again the records will be get de deleted so this is what ASCII table so if you are from RDBMS background you might have seen this is so simple but that is true but creating an ASCII table has some uh, rules regulations something like that so we need to be aware of it so uh, and, and also so make sure one thing people started using ASCII tables in the real time so you need to know that as well if you are not aware of it that's completely fine you can still say you haven't used ASCII table but when they ask you what is the syntax of the table please tell these and uh, one more thing uh, like we do have a lot of problems that we face when we use ASCII tables in the real time so we do have a lot of problems I'm gonna make all those problem statements as a videos and I'm gonna give the solution for it in a video so keep uh, stay touch with our playlist and our channel and if you really like this video please do subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues and also if possible please Please share this in your LinkedIn profile. Thanks for watching. And this this delete will end in some time and the record won't be there. Thanks for watching.